everybody, Ann here, and I'm sitting out here on my porch drinking my coffee first thing in the morning with all of you. And today, well, it is a kind of um, overcast, cloudy day today, and I guess it rained a little bit last night. We didn't get much rain yesterday, so I didn't get too much in the rain barrel, but I'm going to go out and check in a little bit and see what I've got. So hopefully I've got some water. Um, today I've got a couple projects I want to see if I can get done and I want to plant something in that tire so I need to figure out what that's going to be. I'm pretty sure what it's going to be but I'm going to give myself a few minutes and get a little bit more coffee in me before I head out. So, well, when I get going I'm going to take you with me. Figured I'd get my day started by doing a really small load of skivvies. Gotta have clean undies when you go into town and I have to work tomorrow. I don't want to, but I have to. Let's go see what happened in the rain barrel. I hope I have a ton of water. Whoops, must have had a gust of wind. Good thing I did that little thing over there to keep the, keep the lid on. All right, let's open this up and see what I got. Oh man, what a bummer. Just a tiny bit. I'd say I got a couple more inches, but look at all of that pollen stuff. Oh, that just grosses me out. I'll be so glad when this is all over with. So I guess it is still coming through the t-shirt. Uh, I guess there's not a whole lot I can do to prevent that yucky stuff from getting down in there. So, eh, oh well, that's all right. I think it's time to plant something in that there white tire planter. So, hmm, let's see. I'm just gonna make a little hole with my fingers and then put in the mystery plant. Yup, it's gonna be a tomato. And you know what, normally I wouldn't do this because these are still very, very young plants. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna dig down underneath. Let's see if I can do it and film at the same time. And go below where I think the roots are and just take out a nice big chunk. And look at that. You see those roots? Look! Oh, somebody's got a little ATV app. Lots of great roots. So I am just going to take it over here. And I may need to make this hole a little bigger. Hopefully I don't kill them all. Sorry for the camera movement. And uh, just kind of pack it back down. Hopefully I didn't damage the roots. Uh, and I'll just be planting that whole bunch of them. And whichever one grows tallest and fastest gets to live, the all others. Well, I doubt that I'll transplant any more from this little group here. So just one tomato plant in here is pretty much all I want. So let me just get a little bit of water. Just a little bit of water because I've already watered this bed this morning. But just enough to kind of hopefully make the roots be not so mad at me. And yeah, that water was from the bottom of the barrel. I got that rain barrel all cleaned up, so hopefully the next batch of water will be nice and clean. So let's hope these tomatoes do okay in here. And I know I'm going to have to stake them up. So, yep, another tomato pot. Right on. I have some earth-shaking news. Now, I'm pretty sure this is spinach. See that? There's two little plants right there. And these were the two that were sprouting up the other day. And now we've got two more. So I am thinking that this is spinach, that my spinach is finally coming up. So yay! Also, remember here where there was no bean? Yay, a little bean is coming up. So this bed is looking really, really great too. Ooh, little butterfly. That one looks kind of sickly, so it'll be interesting to see if that actually grows well. So, yeah, okay, so those cucumbers, you know, I'll have to remember, I can't remember if you can have two, you know, growing in one central location or if you just need to have one. I mean, I've got one right there that has four. That one over there has four. Um, they're really healthy plants so far. I hate to just get rid of them. So, I don't know, I'm going to have to look that up. Uh, but the beans are doing great tomato I just planted that and here check this out this may be really hard to see but if you look down in there there's multiple little tiny green things and that is peppermint so I'm pretty sure that this is the peppermint that's growing up this is the only spot that it's coming up in that's okay um, if these get big enough I might be able to carefully pull one out and put them in the other spot 
So nothing else interesting happening over here. The next project I'm going to do, and probably my last project for the day because I'm tired and it's super hot, is my worm bin. It desperately needs some help. See this here? This is my worm bin. It's just a cooler I've drilled holes in. I kept drilling bigger holes, more, more numerous holes, but I don't know if you can see the condensation on this. It is just really, really damp. And if you look down in there, see that? That's a dead worm. Um, I'm going to leave it. It'll just compost down into it. But I think that these worms are dying because it's just too moist in here. Um, the soil, the soil is pretty cool. So I don't think it's temperature. I just think it's too damp and that the poor worms are drowning, basically. So I got myself a proper tub and I'm going to prepare that for the worms. The first thing I'm going to do is drill a bunch of holes in the top of this bin so that the worms can get plenty of ventilation. That's plenty of holes. That'll provide plenty of ventilation. I need to pull off the little tabby things that are in it so they don't end up down in my worm castings. But uh, I think that'll provide plenty of ventilation and if not, well, I'll just drill some bigger holes or maybe more holes. So the next step is to start adding some bedding. My old worm bin still has plenty of bedding left in it, but what I am going to use is some of these, some brown paper towels or napkins or whatever. Um, I'm going to kind of shred them up a little bit better. And I think I got some old egg cartons, some cardboard egg cartons out in the van, so I'm going to go grab those and get them all processed. I think that's all I'm going to add for right now. Um, if you are doing your own worm bin, you are going to want to add a lot more of this stuff in there and you're going to want to moisten it. I have a tutorial on my DIY playlist that you can go check out and see how to make one of these. But really just go to AJ's Green Topics. I'll put a link in my description below. And he, he knows a lot more about these worms than I do. In fact, I kind of built my bin this time the way that he does his. Uh, so I'm going to start adding some of that very damp worm bedding to my new bin. There's the old bin and all of that stuff on the sides, that's their castings because they like to get up and crawl around and whatnot. So I'm just going to kind of inspect them. Oh, look at there's a little baby one. Cute. I'm glad to see that there's little ones in there. I'm just going to start grabbing handfuls of this and if I see something interesting I'll show it to you. Um, and I'm going to start just putting it in this other bin and uh, see how many worms we got. Hopefully I've got a bunch. They're probably hiding down below. I think I've showed you this before, but that little golden looking thing just below my uh, index finger is a cocoon. And that is going to be lots of baby worms. So I guess this worm bin is still doing okay. See those two cocoons? They're a little bit different color. The one on the left is a darker color. That means that there are baby worms just about ready to come out. The one on the right is not quite ready to pop, and that one I showed you earlier is probably a very freshly laid cocoon. So I'm going to get a bunch, a bunch of more, and this bedding is filled. Every handful that I pull up here has multiple cocoons in it, so that's good. Oh, got a little baby worm right there. Hey, cool. And I've got that old one emptied out, and I've got them all in here. So. And there were a few more dead worms, so I'm just going to toss this around and uh, mix it up and then just kind of get an, a feel for whether or not this is going to be sufficiently damp versus wet versus too dry. So let me get this tossed around and then, well, we'll finish it up. It has started raining and actually I think that this is a little bit too dry now so I'm just going to let it rain for a little bit and God, look at these little bugs. I don't like those in my worm bin. I mean I don't think that they're a problem but um, I just don't like anything but worms in my worm bin. You know what? This needs to get rinsed out so let me go find a spot along the house. Oh, this looks like a good spot. And collect that rainwater. Haha, <laughs> why not? I let that rain a little bit on it, and I think that's sufficient. There's plenty enough moisture in there to get all the rest of that stuff in there damp. Uh, you don't want it too damp because your worms will die. 
Yes, I need to get some more bedding in there because this is a very large bin and I will eventually. But for right now, I just kind of pile it up on one side, especially for the night crawlers. I've only, only got two or three of those left because they like to kind of burrow down a little bit deeper. I'm not going to feed them right now because they eat all that stuff. Uh, but anyhow, well, that's it for the worm bin. Let's go ahead and put the lid on. And I'm going to carry it out to the shed because it is the coolest out there in the shed. So that's it for the worm bin. I was going to take you out, walk around my property, but it is pouring down rain right now. And you know what? I really, really welcome the rain. There is some pretty trees that are blooming. There's one kind of like over there that's got some white flowers on it. And then I've got another one kind of like off in the distance back there. So that is cool. I'm going to get a closer look at them tomorrow and see what they look like. But it's starting to get green, everybody. This is just off one side of my house, this side where my plants are. I love it. I love being able to look out my window or just off my porch and see my plants growing. See that right there? That's the wood pile that the snake came out of. Now I haven't heard anything like it since then, so hopefully we're done. But if you can see, it's very close to my front porch. So hopefully I won't get any more snakes. I gotta get that chopped up. But it is definitely looking pretty out here, except for my trash heaps. Oh, my composting pile is getting watered. Yay! Oh, wow. You hear that? Look at hail. Look on top of the van. I don't know if you can see. Oh, we're getting hail. Oh, yes, we are. We're getting hail. I shouldn't be out in this rain. Whoa! One just hit the camera. Just little ones. Holy crapola, we're getting a lot of hail. I should go inside, but this is pretty cool. I think that's enough for this video, don't you? I'm just going to sit out here on my porch and enjoy the view with my little handy-dandy shovel in case I get, get a, a little visitor. <laughs> Maybe have a glass of wine a little bit later and just enjoy the view. Yeah, pretty awesome. Well, anyhow, that's all I got for you. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.